In this video, we'll discuss how to navigate Space Apps Connect, the official communication forum for the 2025 NASA Space Apps Challenge. Space Apps Connect will be hosted on GitHub discussions and allow you to connect with other hackathon participants as well as with local leads, navigators, subject matter experts, global collaborators about their global offers, and the NASA Space Apps Global Organizing Team, or the GO Team. You can use Space Apps Connect to ask general hackathon questions, questions about the challenges and data, and an opportunity to learn from the NASA Space Apps community. Joining Space Apps Connect is optional, but highly encouraged, and it is completely free for everyone to use. Please note, participants who join Space Apps Connect must adhere to NASA Space Apps Code of Conducts and Values, which can be found on the About page under NASA Space Apps Values at spaceappschallenge.org. To access Space Apps Connect, you can find the link under your profile menu once you're logged into the website. Just click Space Apps Connect. To participate and join Space Apps Connect, you must first have a GitHub account. Before we begin, please note the following. Participants who are under the age of 13 cannot use GitHub. If GitHub learns of any user under the age of 13, they will terminate that user's account immediately. Participants who are between the ages of 13 and 17 are required to have a parent or legal guardian create their GitHub account and must be accompanied by a parent or legal guardian at all times while in Space Apps Connect. If you are a resident of a country outside the United States, your country's minimum age may be older, in which case you are responsible for complying with your country's laws. By using Space Apps Connect, you are agreeing to GitHub's Terms of Services. To create a GitHub account, navigate to the website and select the Sign Up button at the top right of the screen. To create your account, you will answer the required questions. After you answer the required questions, you'll be asked to complete a CAPTCHA test. Once you've completed this form successfully, you can create your account. You will receive a code in your email inbox to verify your email. Find the code in your email inbox and enter it in the prompt. After entering the verification code, you'll be asked further questions about your team size and whether you're a student or a teacher. This information is optional and will not impact NASA Space Apps Challenge judging. It is collected solely by GitHub. You will receive a code in your email inbox to verify your email. Find the code and enter it into the prompt. After entering the verification code, you'll be asked to sign in again. While using GitHub, you may be asked to enter prompts about what features you're interested in, or even topics that you're interested in. You can always skip these sections by selecting Continue. They are not required to participate in Space Apps Connect. GitHub may also ask you which plan you would like to use. Make sure that you select the free plan. You do not need any other plan to be able to participate in Space Apps Connect. If you are prompted or suggested to purchase something while using GitHub, please understand that NASA is not responsible for any purchases that you make. Now that you've created your account and logged in, go to the Space Apps Connect board by either going to github.com slash NASA slash Space Apps or just search NASA forward slash Space Apps in the search bar. Once you're on Space Apps Connect, click the Discussions tab to get to the discussion board. Here you'll see all of the different discussion categories for the hackathon. These include find a team. This is where you can find teammates to tackle a challenge. Either look for someone looking for team members or create your own post to recruit members to your team. Announcements. The NASA Space Apps Global Organizing Team will be using this category to provide important updates to participants, so check it frequently. In this category, you will find information about the hackathon, reminders, words of encouragement, and notices about system issues or troubleshooting needs if they should arise. Challenges. Here's where you can ask questions about the challenge you're working on. Be sure to include the challenge name in the start of your discussion. 
general. This is where you can discuss topics related to the Space Apps Challenge that are not relevant to other listed categories. Global Offers. Ask questions about this year's offers in this category. Project Submission Help. Ask questions about how to submit your project. And finally, Universal Event. If you're a participant registered for the Universal Event, ask your questions related here. Please note that challenges, global offers, and project submission help will not be open until closer to the hackathon. The first thing you should do before creating a post is search for similar discussions. This helps prevent duplicate questions from being asked. To search for a discussion, use the search bar at the top of the page. We have a few tips to help you find discussions. First, change the filter to all. This allows you to see all discussions regardless of their status. You can also use the label filter to select labels that you think would apply to the discussion you're looking for. For example, if you have a question about a challenge, you would select the appropriate challenge label. Please note that you can select more than one label, but we want you to keep in mind that the more labels you add, the only results you'll get will be those that contain all labels that you select. The more labels you select, the less options there may be. So you can remove the labels as well. To remove labels, go back to the filter and uncheck any boxes that you don't wanna include in your query. To post a discussion, you can either start in the category that's most relevant or from the main discussion page. You'll select where you want that to go and get started. When writing the title of your post, please make sure that it is clear, concise, and summarizes what you are posting. This will help the Go team identify which labels to attach to your post and will allow others to find and respond to your post and discussion as quickly as possible. You'll want to add details into the body that will help people know what you're asking. If you selected the wrong category or have changed your mind, you can say choose a different category and then change which one you would like your post to go into. You can also do this after you submit your post. You may have to check a box here to acknowledge that you've searched for similar discussions or it may just remind you. When you're ready to post, click start discussion. If you need to edit the category, you do so from the right hand side by changing the category. If you see a discussion that you would like to comment on, click into the discussion, scroll down to suggest an answer. And here's where you write your answer. You'll also want to try to keep your answer concise and appropriate based on the question asked. If you want to mention another user in your discussion or reply, use the at symbol followed by their username. Please be courteous and refrain from spamming usernames. You can also reference other discussions in your post. If you want to reference another discussion, click on this bubble, word bubble icon in the content section. From there, you can scroll to find or search to find what you're looking for by typing in the name of the discussion. Click the discussion to insert a link into your comment. When you're satisfied with your post, select the green button on the right. It may say comment, start discussion, or reply, depending on the type of post that you are creating. Space Apps Connect encourages users to close their discussion when it has been resolved, is no longer relevant, or is a duplicate. Maybe you found your answer in another discussion. This helps reduce the number of discussions present in the active section of the GitHub discussions page. To close your discussion, click on your post and scroll down to the comment section. You can either select close discussion or use the arrow to choose the reason for closing your discussion. Please do this once your question has been answered and the post is no longer relevant. For a complete detailed guide on how to navigate Space Apps Connect, you can refer 
to the Space Ops Connect guide on the resources page. It's also linked in the description below. NASA Space Ops is a place where all feel they belong, where all are comfortable being authentic, and where all are empowered to contribute to their fullest. NASA Space Apps is committed to providing a professional and productive forum for all to engage in a robust exchange of ideas. All ideas are welcome and we encourage our community to share them. At all times, participants are responsible for maintaining professional decorum and treating each other with respect and dignity. We encourage collaboration and positive problem solving. We are a community that embraces collaboration, growth, and respect. Bullying, discrimination, or harassment on any basis will not be tolerated. If you experience or witness discrimination, harassment, or any form of bullying during the NASA Space Apps Challenge, or have any other concerns, please contact your local lead or the Space Apps Global Organizing Team at conduct at spaceappschallenge.org. The GO Team will take appropriate action, which may include a warning or expelling offending participants from the event. We hope Space Apps Connect will enhance your hackathon experience. Good luck to all participants at this year's 2025 NASA Space Apps Challenge. Don't forget to follow us on X, Facebook, and Instagram for the latest updates and to connect with the global NASA Space Apps community.